What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm High Priestess The Oracle, AKA The Oracle, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to Late Night Vibes. Um, we're gonna get started with your messages. Um, as you already know, these messages may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. There are certain parts of these messages that may resonate with you and others don't. Um, could be certain things like numbers, signs, colors, um, synchronicities, you know, things like that, that could resonate, that could help you along your path here, okay? Um, that's pretty much it, guys, you know? Just take what resonates, you know? Like I said, um, some messages could be just almost personal messages. You never know. But there is a message for someone out here, you know, okay? Definitely. Okay, guys? Hope you guys are doing okay. Welcome back to um, Late Night Vibes, where things can get a little <laughs> wild and crazy sometimes, but in these readings, but that's life, right? Stuff happens, okay? And we just have to learn our lesson and move forward. Okay, the bigger and better things. And I feel like masculine energy, my masculine shout out to you guys. You guys are doing that. A lot of you are moving into um, a high vibrational relationship, you know, with someone that's on the same level with you, someone that's spiritual like you, okay? Someone that's loving and caring and nurturing. Um, you guys share the same interests, you know, all those different things, right? Passion is there, okay? No games, no lies, no tricks. You know, just genuine, genuine, unconditional love, right? Love, right? But some of you guys have made it through your test. But I feel like there's somebody um, in your environment that is not happy with that, okay? Karmic energy, right? They're not happy because you left them in the cold. You dusted them. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no other word or no other way to put it. So let's get started started all right spirit guys okay let's see what's going on also guys i did you know protect my space with my palace on twos before i started okay so we want to clear out any negative energies any karmic energies okay all right so let's see we have out the gate the hierophant and the eight of swords okay out the gate Okay, Hierophant and the Eight of Swords. So what I want you to pay attention to with this card, this Hierophant card, you see where the windows are boarded up, there's a TV on, looks like somebody's in a room. Well, that's exactly what's going on. Someone feels, okay, like they had this relationship, they had this marriage, they had this long-term relationship possibly or marriage or something, um, that was traditional. And now they're being blocked with all those boarded up windows here or these boarded up windows. They're being blocked. And they got the message that it's over. With this TV, okay, yeah. There's a message on the screen, okay? They got a message that something is just over, okay? And they're trapped in their head about the situation with the Age of Swords. They are literally trapped, okay? I want to get a confirmation or a clarification i'm sorry hierophant and, and, the, and the eight of swords let's see yeah devil energy yep yeah just like i thought someone is really thinking of something toxic here possibly okay or this could be the toxic energy okay when you have with someone the relationship is ended a lot of times, you know, some people are very devious, right? They, they want things to go their way. It's my way or the highway, whatever. And I feel like that's where this person is at, okay? So let me see. All right, so masculines, this is obviously a person that you were dealing with, okay? Somebody from your past, Six of Cups, okay? The Tower, all right? Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Okay. The Judgment card. All right. And the Knight of Pentacles. So basically, like I said, it's somebody from your past, but this person is thinking about the past. All right. They're thinking heavily about what they did. They're thinking heavily about their actions. Okay. And they're losing their mind here. It's chaotic in their world. I mean, everything is falling apart. 
with this tower because now they're single, right? But they are just independent now, okay? Having to do everything themselves with this nine of pentacles, but, they, but they're having a tower ultimately because they want to live a certain lifestyle. See these people shopping down here at the bottom and at the top, okay? They still want to live a certain lifestyle, very nice lifestyle, and they are losing their mind with the seven of cups. You know, seven of cups is all about illusions, confusion. It could be about spell work, um, which I'm picking up heavily, um, which, you know, this person was doing in general. He or she, take it how it resonates, but I feel like it could have been a feminine energy, okay, who was doing spell work to cause illusion and confusion in your world, okay? But they are losing their mind here. They, they can't control themselves, okay? All right? They, they, they're, they're not quite right right now, okay? Judgment card. Yeah, judgment has been called in the situation. It hit them unexpectedly. You walking away, like, completely, though. Not just walking away and be like, all right, I'm done, I'm done, but come back and, you know, no. Completely gone. It's over. So now they're facing reality. It's like a wake-up call, right? And with the Knight of Pentacles here, yeah, exactly. They are being slowed completely down now. Like, everything is on pause for them. It's like everything is coming to a screeching halt. I mean, it's just slowing completely down in their world. Okay? All right? Two of Wands. All right? They're just getting their karma, guys. I just really, really want to point that out. I mean, all the devilish stuff they've done here, it's just coming back to haunt them. Right? It's coming back. So we have the Two of Wands. Nine of Cups, all right, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, okay, and the Emperor, okay, so like I said, <laughs> things have slowed completely down, all right, slowed completely, and this person was making plans, okay, that's why it's been halted, okay, they were making decisions and plans here to fulfill their wishes, Nine of Cups. And if you notice, I tell you, it feels like this person is in their room or, or, or isolated somewhere. You know, they got a blanket on. They're in the bed. Look at them. And they're thinking with this big bubble on the top of their head. I mean, like above their head. They're, they're, they're thinking. Mm -hmm. They're thinking a lot about how they can win you back over, right? How they can come back in and dupe you a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, it don't matter, 50th time. They don't care, okay? They want this partnership, two of cups, okay? They want this relationship back, all right? And the crazy thing is, with this ace of pentacles, okay? If, if you could see very at the very bottom, there's like a little graveyard back here. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. But there's a graveyard. It's over. All this money, all the things here with the ace of pentacles, everything the lavish things everything that you wanted everything that she was giving right every i mean it's everything that she wanted you were giving you were providing okay everything that this person wanted okay cross watcher take it how it resonates okay but ultimately ultimately masculines you were dealing with someone that wanted a lot of money a lot of things a lot of time they wanted everything jewelry cars houses bills paid cell phone bill paid oh i need some new sneakers you know i need one of you do every single thing, right? But it's over, okay? With the emperor, they still want to take control, okay? But they're being blocked. Look at this boarded up door, okay? We talked about the boarded up window. Mm-hmm. Someone is in a room somewhere or in a house. They're inside isolating themselves, okay? But they're being blocked, they can't have this control anymore. And with these hands coming out through the door here, yeah, they're still reaching, okay? They're still trying to get your attention. All right, masculines? Will of fortune, but they can't. The cycle is over. It's a new cycle now. We also have the number 10 up here for, you know, for the will of fortune, which is, huh, what did we talk about? Was it yesterday, the day before? This was a karmic cycle that has ended, okay? The cycle is over. There's no going back. You're not going back. But this person, yeah, they want you to come back. The moon card. It's over. It's done. The secrets. 
the rituals, the black magic, the love spells, the sex spells, sex magic, all of that stuff this person was doing to you to keep you bounded, to keep you away from your divine feminine, right? Your true soulmate, oh, this person was doing it, okay? I told you they've been stopped, right? Yeah. On those, uh, with those rituals, with this Knight of Cups, you were given, they were given in some kind of way, right? Okay? It was like, oh, we were dating, we were doing this, I showed my emotions, and I got what I wanted. Okay? That's kind of like the energy I'm picking up from the feminine here, the, the dark feminine, the karmic. Okay? Distorted feminine. All right? Ace of Cups. All right? Like I said, mm -hmm. this person would come in to try to romance you, right? In particular ways, right? Just so they could get pregnant. Ace of Cups. Possibly. This could possibly pregnancy or just trying to keep a relationship going. But either way, their goal was to keep you bounded to them by romancing you in a certain way with this Knight of Cups, right? But now they're sad. Okay, they're crying over spilled milk with the five of cups here. Okay, the graveyard shows up again in the background. Mm hmm. See that graveyard back there? Yeah, uh huh. It's over, but they're crying. They can't, they're like, I did so much, I did so many things to try to get you back here, you know. But it backfired. Anytime you're doing spell work, guys, anybody out here. Cross watchers, anybody, just don't do it, okay? Just don't. It's, it backfires every time. It does not last, okay? Something you should not play with, all right? Page of Cups, all right? So, hmm. So this feminine energy you guys were dealing with came back to apologize to you. If she has not come back to apologize, he or she, take it how it resonates, whoever's watching. But um, if... She has not come back to apologize. She is. So this could possibly have happened or is getting ready to happen. But like I said, this person is currently going through all of this, right? And so they could be at the brink. They could be um, at this moment or could be coming in, right? Where they want, they've been trying to apologize. The Empress, okay? Um, coming in with apologies, trying to stop you again right? Trying to play on your sympathy, your emotions. Okay. See the hand where it looks like she's saying, uh, oh, you know, stop, hold up. Don't go. Don't move. Yeah. Okay. She's trying to show up to be like this mother. Okay. And this could be a mother. This could be the mother of your children. Um, just a mother in general. Um, but this is somebody in your family, in a situation that you were in relationship or whatever. And they're trying to stop you. Queen of Cups energy. They're coming in being very nurturing or they're going to come in and be very nurturing, be very sensitive, be very caring, be very loving, okay? And it's all a game, okay? I'm just telling you that right off the bat, okay? But, they're, but, they, but they have either tried that, okay, and it backfired or they're going to come back in and try it again because I'm, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, they're not going to stop. We have the death card, Okay? This situation is over. No matter, like I said, no matter how they beg, no matter how they plead, you guys are so awakened right now, masculines, and I'm so proud of you. You're so awakened that it's not affecting you. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person still wants to receive from you. Yeah, they still want you to give to them. It's like peasant energy to me. It's like somebody that doesn't want to work, doesn't want to do anything, they just want to lay around, and that's it, right? High priestess. Mm. Let me tell you. See, the thing is, it's all over with the death card. All the giving, six of pentacles, you know, how they was always receiving from you, right? Getting everything they wanted. But with the high priestess card, it was because they were doing rituals on you. They were doing black magic, sex magic, love spells, beauty spells, okay? Separation spells, conflict spells, okay? All this stuff to keep you off your path, to keep you away from your true love, okay? A beautiful, high vibrational female, somebody that, that has boundaries, that's loving, that's caring, that's nurturing, respects herself, 
right? This person doesn't respect themselves at all, all right? But they were doing things on the moon cycle, like I said, around moon cycles, okay? They had a secret agenda, all right? And they were doing rituals on you. That's why you were able to give to them. That's why you were giving to them. <laughs> That's as simple. I'm telling you, with someone like this that had very dark energy attached to them, come on. Come on. There's no way you would give to this person if you really saw their true face, right? If you saw their true colors, you wouldn't be giving to them. Let's see. Pull another deck here. But yeah, you wouldn't, um, I might, I might still use the same. Okay, but yeah, just like I said, lovers. Yeah, you wouldn't be given to this person if you didn't, if, if you wasn't under their spell at one point in time, but you're not anymore. The lovers is here. Okay, this person clearly you were dealing with wanted you to make a choice in lovers, all right? Wanted you to always choose them. Okay, it didn't matter who else was around. Okay, if it was another female that came in, you were going to play them instantly. You were going to rush in, have sex, play some type of game, and then you were going to be back home with this person. Why? You see this moon back here at the very bottom behind this feminine? Look, she was doing rituals in a very low vibration, in a very low state, right? Okay, she was doing dark rituals, okay? Because um, this moon is sitting way too low. All right, and see this spray this guy is holding, okay? She was doing, like I said, I cannot make it up. Oh, I cannot make it up. She was doing love spells, okay? It's like some kind of love spray, don't it? Like they spraying down there. Love spells, sex rituals, sex spells, <laughs> binding spells, anything to keep you tied to them. And they like, I did everything. I did everything to make this work. I did rituals, I did spells, I, 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 I gave him everything. Like, I don't understand why it's not working. And that's where this person is at. They know ultimately that it's backfired, it's over, it's done. <laughs> I mean, really, this person did a lot of work on you. They did a lot of work, okay? Nine of Wands. Over and over again, repetitively here. You see all these different faces this, por this person wore? She wore a lot of faces. She played the victim a lot. Okay, she knew how to switch up the game on you. Oh, well, um, so-and-so did this to me, or I, I hurt my foot, or I, um, gosh, dang. You know, I lost this, this ring I had, and I need, you know, like, this person will make up random stuff just to get your attention, just so you can feel sorry for them. Oh, I, I lost my job for the third time this week. <laughs> you know, you're like, what? I'm just saying, just crazy stuff. But it came back to bite this person completely in the ASS. Do you see how this police officer down here is biting the arm of this woman? Okay. If I can see that. Came back to bite this person. So, like, everything that they did is coming back. It's karma. Guys, they're getting, they're getting their karma. You actually gave them their karma. And that triggered the process because it's time for them to reap what they sowed. You know, all the stuff that they did to you, no disrespect, but that's what happens with karma, guys. This is not wishing bad upon anybody, okay? This is just saying that when you put stuff out there, you're going to get it back. And it depends on how you even put it out there, okay? What you did, what, what, what were the steps that you took? And this person took some really devious, dark steps to keep you trapped. Okay, so this person is, you know, like I said, is showing back up to you if they haven't already with that manipulation stuff, playing the victim. Yep, Sun card and the Eight of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Look, <clears throat> this person is well aware with the Sun card, they are well aware of what they did to you, they are well aware of their actions, right? Mm hmm. And this is why. With the Eight of Pentacles, they are trying to rebuild with you. They are trying to work on things again. They're, 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 they're hoping that they could work on things. So this is why this person is going through a lot of things in their head right now, a lot of air energy here. It's a lot of air here, okay? So air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is in the building, okay? It's a lot of that here, all right? Okay? Okay? But this, but this person is ultimately what I'm trying to say is that they're completely in their head because they know what they've done. Okay. The sun is down here. They're enlightened about their actions. All right. 
totally enlightened about their actions, okay? And that's why they're trying their best. And But you're not budging, though, masculine. Look, six of swords, okay? They want to move on to common waters with you. They want everything to just, you know, they want you to blow it off. Like, oh, it didn't happen. I'm a better person now. Remember, karmics are going to still be karmics. If they were karmics to you, they're always going to be a karmic to you. They're never going to change, okay? They're not. It's, 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 it's sad, but they have the ability to. But they still are narcissistic, and they still want to live in that mind frame, okay? They, they, they have a demon attached to them, okay? It's an entity, okay? I'm just telling you, all right? It's an entity that needs to be healed, all right? You need to remove that mess, okay? So with this Six of Swords, if you look back here, there's another moon. Like I told you, you, but this time the moon is behind you, masculine. Mm-hmm. Reason being... You already know what this person is up to, okay? Because you're awakened. You're not falling for it no more. You're not. You already know about the secrets. You know about them hiding things from you. Some of y'all know about the secret pregnancies that they were trying to, you know, or lie and say they were pregnant, you know, and they weren't, or they were trying to secretively get pregnant by you, okay? They were doing all kind of devious. Some of these, some of these karmic females out here were doing some devious stuff to y'all, man, Okay? Because they really wanted to win. A lot of them knew your birthright. They knew you. They knew your path before you did. Okay? So that's why they were trying to take it. Like, oh, he's going he gonna to be abundant. He's going to have it all. Oh, my God. He's hot. Oh, I got to keep him. I got to have him. Nah. Nah. It just wasn't meant for them. Okay? It wasn't. Okay? Let's see what else. Oh, I got a book out. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to break it down, though. We're going to break it down. Ace of Wands. Okay, Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, <clears throat> Three of Wands, okay, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, all right, Five of Wands, this is telling a really, really deep story here, um, Six of Wands. Three of Cups, and we have the Five of Swords, I mean Seven of Swords, I'm sorry, this is the Seven of Swords, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. So right off the bat, look, somebody, like I said, this this female energy wanted to come in and have sex, all right? Okay? Okay, they're, they're in a lot of, they have a lot of passion, it's just a lot of sexual energy, and it's a burden for them, okay? Okay? Sexual energy that is literally a burden with for them with the Ten of Wands, Okay? With the Three of Swords, they're heartbroken and sad here. All right? They're heartbroken and sad. Reason being because they always had their way, Queen of Swords. Like, <clears throat> whatever I say goes. Very cutting. Very nasty. Okay? I feel from this individual. I always wanted you to work together. Three of Pentacles. Oh, do this for me. Do that to me. We could still, like, they, they would force you to work with them. Okay? And... <laughs> They have been waiting, right? They, they want to work together. They've been wanting you to work together, and they've been waiting. Three of Wands. They've been waiting, right? Queen of Wands here. Yeah, because she's ready to come in, right, and have sex and passion and try to get back to the money, get back to the bag. I'm just being real. I mean, that's really what it is. And so she's emotional about it. King of Cups. She, this person is very emotional, right? And she's fighting it. Five of Wands. Fighting hard, all right? Very determined, right? Wanting to cause tension so bad. But the message is here, boo. The message is out. Six of Wands. See this paper? See this paper? Yeah. Everything has been exposed about you now, okay? About this feminine energy, okay? That you guys were dealing with. Three of Cups. Yeah, this person wanted to come back in and reconcile and celebrate and have fun. And, but the thing is, they were still going to be sneaky, guys. Seven of Swords. <sighs> I'm telling you, this person is not going to give up. They were still, they're still going to come in and be the same. What did I tell you? They're not going to change, all right? Because guess what? Four of Pentacles. They still want to hold on to your money. Dang. Wow. <laughs> Okay, just like I said, y'all doing the right thing by moving on, masculines. Y'all doing the right thing. Ace of Wands, but they can't stop communicating. 
I told you they're going to keep communicating with this eight of wands, text messaging, DMing, calling you. I feel like a lot of text messages though. Okay. Yeah. They're not going to stop. Yep. Page of swords, nine of swords. Okay. And the fool card. Okay, so guys, look, let me tell you. This person has been watching and spying on you, like they always do. This person has been watching you for a long time. And you know that. You already know. You, you, you know this person, okay? You know that they've always tried to spy on you and know your every move, okay? Whether it was in the 3D or the 5D, okay? Whether it was spiritually or in the physical. Y'all get what I'm saying? Magic, all that stuff, they knew, right? But they have been, they've been watching you because they're stressing out. Nine of swords. They can't function. What did I tell y'all? This person is in a room or at home, isolated. They can't function because they took a risk. And now it's over. Food card. Look at this graveyard. Another graveyard. Look at this. It's over because you're walking away, masculine. You got gifts in your hand. You might be going into your feminine with some stuff now. Okay? You might be like, oh, I'm going to bring her something nice because now you can give to her. You couldn't give to two before, right? But now you can, but... This person took a risk and it's over. They took a very deadly risk here, playing with God like that. Mm -mm. You don't mess up somebody's life or their or them trying to get to their goals in life. No, you don't take someone off their spiritual path or any path for that matter. And that's what this person ultimately was doing to you guys. Okay? Yep. Ten of Cups. Just for family. Just for home. Just for the comfort, the leisure, abundant life. Page of Wands. And they keep messaging you. They keep coming in with little small messages, right? Because they still want their home secured. Four of Wands. They want to reconcile. They want the family. They want all of that. But the world card is in reverse, right? Because they don't want this to end. They don't want this cycle. This cycle. Mm -mm. They don't want it. So they are coming in or did come in or getting ready to come in with the Five of Swords to play you again. I told you that. It's just keep coming out. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Flighty energy. They're going to be in and out again. They're going to be in and out, in the bedroom, but out, okay? They come in and nurture you to get what they want financially, and then they go. But you walked away. Eight of cups. You're gone. So at the end of the day, masculines, look, let's get a clarification on this eight of cups. You will pop out. Oh, well. Okay. Well, Eight of Cups, again, we got the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You have walked away. What did I say? Oh, MG, right? You walked away. Eight of Swords, you walked away. And, and, and if you look at this Eight of Swords, the person is like, look, don't talk to me. See how her hands are up? Like, no, nah, don't talk to me. Yeah, because you know the truth, Ace of Swords. You got truth and clarity about who this person really was. And you ditched them like a hot potato. <laughs> For real. For real, you ditch the masculine, it's over. Yeah, because ultimately, you know the truth, okay? You know the truth, you know this person just wants the same things from you, and it's over. Good thing about it, masculines, now you can move on to your destiny now. And, or shall I say, keep going towards your destiny, because that's ultimately what you're doing anyway. Very good, yep. So, but this is just a warning to you masculines. Look, just remember, this person is not going to change. They're going to keep contacting you, all right? They're not going to stop. This person is very determined. They are hurting, okay? But that's not for you to worry about because they didn't care when they hurt you, okay? Let them hurt. Let them go through their karmic um, lesson right now, okay? Because they have to go through a karmic lesson just like you did, but you got out of it and you moved on. This person cannot be trusted, all right, masculines? So... Like I said, continue moving on. This is the message of continue to do you. Continue to go on. Yes, this person is going to keep trying, but they're not going to be able to do any magic, obviously. That, that's over, and they're mad because they can't do that anymore. And whatever they say to you over the phone or text is not working, okay? <laughs> so it's ultimately not working. So at the end of the day, masculines, congratulations. Continue moving forward like you have been, and just beware, this person is going to try, but don't give in. Do not give in. All right, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I'm High Priestess the Oracle, aka the Oracle, and 
Thank you for tuning in to Late Night Vibes. I love you guys. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.